iOS 16.4 is poised to have a huge change. Welcome everybody. Welcome to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here. Apple has just issued the third developer beta of iOS 16.4. With iOS 16.4, Apple is making a big change to how developers and public beta testers get access to beta software. Apple continued to make refinements here in the third beta of iOS 16.4, and I want to talk about it with you guys about what it means for post iOS 16.4 and most likely iOS 17 later this year. Apple is cracking down on non-developers and non-publicly registered beta testers who were testing Apple's pre-release software. Starting with iOS 16.4, Apple require users to register either as a developer or as a public beta tester before downloading pre-release software. This cuts down on a couple different things. First, it stops people from getting access to developer software without paying for it. Previously, people could just buy or get access to public developer profiles, install the profile on their device, and have access to the betas. Super easy to do, but it allowed them to do that without paying the developer membership fee, which is roughly like a hundred bucks a year. That means Apple is losing out on that developer membership revenue, even if it was fairly small. But the bigger reason here is that there's kind of like a safety protocol in place. Developer software is not, to meant, is not meant to be used on your actual daily driver. Apple will issue this to developers first. Assuming there are no major issues, Apple will then release it to public beta testers. So with these point updates, Apple will usually release one version for developers, then the following day, barring any glaring issues, will release it to public beta testers. That way it's protecting the public, data's, the public beta testers' devices from any major issues that may crop up on developer devices. Additionally, this is going to come into play this summer with iOS 17. When Apple starts testing iOS 17, the first several betas are all going to be developer only. Those are going to be very rocky, very buggy, could result in a ton of data loss and, and bricking of devices, all this stuff, which is why Apple says to not install them on daily drivers or devices that you were using and rely on. By doing this and forcing people to either pay you're going to make people sign up for the public beta instead, which means you'll have to wait a little bit longer to get access to this software, but it should make it more stable, more reliable, and prevent them from getting access without paying that fee. With the third beta of iOS 16.4, Apple made another change here. Now when you go into settings and then software update, if you view the beta updates option, you'll see your available updates and you can see your Apple ID. If you tap it, you can sign in with a different Apple ID. This is crucial for developers who often have maybe one account that they use for all their personal iCloud data and everything like that, but they have a second Apple ID that's tied to their developer account. So you can sign with your developer account on one hand, but use your iCloud, your personal iCloud for everything else. It's much easier this way. Think about setting up new devices too. Rather than having to set up the device, install a profile or sign in and then install a profile and all of that, it's really easy just to sign with your Apple ID and opt into beta updates and just go on your way. So what do you guys think? Do you think Apple's doing the right thing here by preventing people from just downloading any developer profiles onto their devices? Let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. And if you spotted any other changes in the iOS 16.4 beta three update, let me know down below in the comments or on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Otherwise, stay tuned. I've got so many more videos coming your way.